find the limit of this statement when x approaches zero. So first off, if we plug that in, we get one minus the cosine of zero, because a times x when it's zero is just zero, and then one minus cosine of b times zero is zero. So we end up with one minus one over one minus one. So that's no good because it's an indeterminate. All right, so let's take the derivative, the top and the bottom separately. So when we do that, the derivative of one is zero. Derivative of the cosine is negative sine, so we get positive a sine of ax over b sine of bx. All right, so plug back in um, zero. So we get zero times sine of a times zero. Oh, I'm sorry, these, these aren't zero, it's a and b, oops. So a and b, so sine of zero again, because b times zero when x is zero is just zero. So then we get a sine of zero, zero, b times zero. Well, that's unfortunate, we still get an indeterminate. But with L. Hopital's rule, we can take the derivative again. So when we take the derivative again, um, what's going to happen here is A is still considered a constant, so be careful. You're not using the product rule. It's a constant. So again, A squared, because A times A, and then this turns to cosine AX over B squared uh, sine, oops, sine, cosine of BX. Plug in zero again, we get A squared times cosine of a times zero is zero over b squared times cosine of zero. And we end up with a squared times cosine of zero is one, b squared times one. We get a squared over b squared. And that's it. Okay, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. You have yourself a great day.